Welcome guys, this is Gagan from lifelearnings.com and this is the tutorial number 13 of PIC16F886. In this video tutorial, we will use the internal ADC module of PIC16F886. So before starting the programming part, we have to consider some of the terms related to the PIC microcontrollers ADC. ADC is an analog to digital converter and it is inbuilt on PIC microcontroller. The terms related to the ADC module is analog input, start of conversion, V reference, digital output bits and step size or resolution. For PIC16F microcontrollers, the internal ADC module is of 10 bits and according to this table, if we are using 10 bit ADC, we will get 1024 number of steps and the maximum operating voltage of the ADC is 5 volts. If we divide the 5 volts by 1024, we will get a step size of 4.88 millivolts. So what is the step size or resolution? It is the smallest change in the signal which we can detect by the ADC channel. Second term related to the ADC is conversion time. Conversion time is a time required to convert the analog signal into digital. Less the conversion time, faster the conversion. If we are using a VRAF for 5 volt maximum, then we can measure the input signal from 0 volts to 5 volts and in this case we will get a step size of 4.88 millivolts. If we change the VRAF to 2.56 volts, then we can measure the voltage from 0 to 2.56 only and in this case we will get a step size of 2.5 millivolts. So the VRAF is the signal which will define the maximum level of voltage which you can measure through the ADC. So D out is equal to V in by step size. So V in is the voltage which we will apply to the analog pin and we know the step size is 4.88 millivolt if we set the VRAF to 5 volts. Now consider we connect a sensor to analog zero pin and that sensor is giving a signal of 2 volts and we have a 10 bit ADC module. We can calculate the digital output by using this formula. So V in is equal to 2 volts or 2000 millivolts divided by 4.88 millivolts. This is the value which you will get after the conversion 409. For this tutorial, I connect a 16x2 LCD to the PIC microcontroller and I connect a port in this configuration and I am using analog channel number 0 which is on pin number 2 of the PIC microcontroller. So this potentiometer will work as a variable voltage source and we will measure the voltage through the ADC pin A and 0 and we will display the digital count of that converted value. In the programming side, first declare the pins for LCD and don't forget to include the library for LCD and ADC module. Go to library manager and select this ADC library and LCD library. First initialize the LCD module by this function, then set the cursor to off and clear the LCD display. Then use this function to initialize the ADC module. Then I create an infinite loop with while 1. Under the infinite loop, I create a variable of integer type. It will store the value of conversion. Now to read the analog channel of the ADC module, we have to write this function ADC underscore read and in the brackets, we have to provide a parameter which will tell the library to read the particular channel. Now we have to display the converted value on the LCD. To display the result of conversion on LCD, we have to first declare this array. This is a character type array and this array will store the ASCII data from 0 to 9. To display the MSB of the data, use this function LCD underscore CHR because the MSB of the data will be a single character. Then provide the row location, then column location and as I told you we have to convert the value into ASCII with the help of the array. So first write the name of array which you give to this array, then the variable which is storing the value of conversion, then divide it by 1000 and take percentage or modulus of this value by 10. For example, suppose RES is containing this value after conversion 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what is the MSB? This one is the MSB. This one is the decimal value and we have to convert it into ASCII to display on LCD. For that purpose, if you divide the result by 1000 and take it modulus by 10, you will get this one. Now what we are doing, we are assigning this expression value to the array location. So in this way we will get as key 1 instead of this decimal 1. To get the next value, the value is 2, we will divide the result by 100 and we will take the modulus by 10 then we will get 2 and the expression will change to 2 and now instead of this decimal 2 we will get the ASCII 2 from the array. To get the next value which is 3 
divide the result by 10 and take the modulus of that value by 10 and you will get a 3 and assign this 3 to array index and you will get the S key 3. Now for the last value which is 4, just take the modulus of the result by 10 and you will get 4 and assign that 4 value to the array index and you will get the S key 4. So in this way we will first separate the values and then we will get the S key values from those separated values. And don't forget to change the column location because on the first row, first column, we will get the MSB. Then we have to change the column location to next to display the next digit. Let's compile the program and see what is the output of simulation. You can see the digital conversion result is 511. Why it is showing this value? Let's first measure the output voltage from this potentiometer. For this, stop the simulation and connect a DC voltmeter to the output of potentiometer. So after connecting the voltmeter, you can see what is the output voltage from this potentiometer. It is 2.5 volts. If we calculate the D out, now the voltage is 2.5 volts or 2500 millivolts divided by 4.88 millivolts and you will get 512. So this is close to this displayed value. Now suppose I set this potentiometer to get 4.3 volts signal. Then what will be the display output? 4.3 volts means 4300 millivolts divided by 4.88 millivolt which is a step size and you will get 881 on the display. So you can see it is approximately same because the value is 4.35 and according to our result it is 881 so it is very close. So minimum value is 0 and maximum value is 1023. So this is the simplest program to read the analog channel with the help of internal library of micro C compiler. You can experiment by changing the pin number and you can use any channel from port A or port B. So thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.